Following the Black Saturday bushfires, one of the areas that received particular attention from the Royal Commission um, around protection of communities was the role that evacuation played as a part of our fire strategies. It's important to understand that the principles around evacuation are about community protection and about ensuring that a decision to recommend evacuation to a community is about providing them with a higher level of protection. We've been working very closely with Victoria Police who have the responsibility to develop evacuation guidelines that sit within the Emergency Management Manual of Victoria. Those guidelines outline the five key steps in evacuation, the decision to evacuate, the communication of that decision through warnings, the withdrawal, the shelter and the return are all key stages of that evacuation. From that guideline, we have a Joint Standard Operating Procedure 3.12 that applies that to bushfires. Wherever possible, that decision to recommend evacuation to the community should not be made by the incident controller in isolation. It has to be a decision that uh, is made after discussions with Victoria Police, who have a, uh, a critical role in, in the success of evacuation also with the emergency management team and the incident management team as a whole to ensure that all of the things are considered in making that final decision around recommending evacuation. The considerations in that decision to evacuate include the impact of the fire, the behaviour of the fire and the timing around the movement of the fire and how that will affect the movement of people in front of the fire. Our resources that we can provide to Victoria Police and the impact of resources on our other fire strategies are also a consideration in there. The community preparedness to support that evacuation movement as well. It's important to understand that at the end of the day in all of those considerations, the safest option for a community may be evacuating them into a safer location, but it may also be that we recommend that they stay where they are and, and in effect uh, shelter in place if you like. Once the decision to recommend evacuation to the community has been made, the communication of that decision is absolutely critical. The mechanism to get that warning out to the community will be through our public information section, the, the templates that we have developed for the range of, of messages that we provide will include one that, that deals with evacuation. One of the elements of that communication has to be advice around the timing and so that we ensure that there is a good understanding in the community about how long that recommendation that we make to evacuate is, is in play, you know, whether that decision is no longer relevant uh, or just to ensure that the community understand the timing around that. The other element of communication besides the community is within our incident management arrangements. So Vic Victoria Police absolutely need to understand that that final decision has been made. In most cases they will be a part of that decision making but they have to understand that that final decision has been made. It's also important that the emergency management team and the incident management team are aware of the decision, fire ground personnel are aware so that everybody who needs to understand the decision are aware that it has been made. Once you then move into the withdrawal phase of evacuation, Victoria Police take on that responsibility for us. Victoria Police will appoint an evacuation manager and they will work with us to implement that phase of the evacuation. It's uh, absolutely critical that we continue to provide that linkage back into the incident management team about the progress of that evacuation which will influence uh, potentially some decisions that we need to make to ensure that the community are in the safest possible position that they need to be. One of the critical elements of our evacuation is around how we plan and prepare for evacuation. It's one of those areas where the level of planning and the level of preparation is something that we're going to have to work through and understand. It has to be scenario based for our local community. It's unlikely that we will be able to be too prescriptive in our planning for evacuation because of the potential range of scenarios that we might face. But there's no doubt that some thinking around how this will work and how we will deal with an evacuation should be done at that, at that local level 
with all of the relevant players to give us some sense of confidence that if the decision has to be made then we have thought about it prior to that scenario playing out in, in real time. At the end of the, the exercise, the decision is about trying to make the community as safe as possible. The decision will not be an easy decision and it will not be made with complete information, but we have to be confident that we are putting the community into a safer situation than what they might otherwise have been.